Hey, good morning and welcome to Arise, our daily online devotion. My name is Noel Manufo. Glory be to God. I'm so excited today. Um, it's the last um, of the Life Development um, Program Special Edition of Arise. However, I want you to understand something. One of the things that we were very emphatic about at the beginning was that this is about forming a habit. It's not just about attending a seminar or attending a training. It's about forming a habit of listening to the word of God and praying in the morning and in the evening, in the morning and in the evening, daily, increasing your, the intensity of your interaction with God. And we, we, I know that over these last three weeks and stepping into next week, that we're going to be doing some intense praying, um, you have been and you will be doing this, praying regularly and connecting with God. So here is what the future is like. Um, this next week, the, the coming week, next week, we're going to be doing some intense praying. Listen to me. You don't want to be told about the breakthroughs that happen. We're going to have... Um, it's going to be a time of confession and prayer, declarations. You know, I sent out, for those of you who are part of the uh, WhatsApp groups, I sent out um, confessions that, that I have, that have been the bedrock of my life. And we're going to be declaring them together. And we're going to be uh, 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 praying in the spirit. We're bringing in some prayer warriors <laughs> all right that's the name we popularly call them all right so we're bringing some amazing people who are anointed to pray and they are going to be joining us in prayer so block out next week mornings from uh, uh, uh you know to to address and we're going to be covering all major areas of life your social life your let me your social life, your financial life, your um, uh, uh, marital, uh, uh, spiritual, um, you know, <laughs> the blessing, uh, protection, you know, practically all major aspects of life. We're going to be praying about them and declaring God's word about those areas and praying in the spirit and receiving prophetic utterances so don't miss it it's going to be the it's the grand finale of this whole training process it's those times of prayer now not only that now in um the the, the evening we're not going to be having any teaching whatsoever but we're going to be posting on the whatsapp groups all the teachings so far um, that, that is on YouTube, so you can look at the ones you've not you've not covered and cover them in the next one week. All right. Having said that, the the the, the next thing after the this this coming week next week would be the continuation or continuing time in God's presence. So arise continues. Arise continues. We're going to be having uh, 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 times of prayer for about for, for about 30 minutes. We're going to have a teaching and we're going to have discussion. Prayer, teaching, discussion. You see, you're going to be, you're now going to make a lifestyle what has been a, you know, one month. Uh, 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 impact. You're now going to make it a continuous thing. Now, so we're not going to be having evening teachings after this period, this, you know, training, but the morning sessions will continue and it will be uh, a time of prayer, a time of teaching of the word. And then we're going to be talking to practitioners of what we are teaching, like we did at the beginning of this training, and that's now going to be the pattern um, every single morning. So get ready, get set. We are going to have us some amazing time 
together in God's presence. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. Today we are praying along the area of relationships. And the Lord spoke to me and said, I want you to um, engage the different kinds of prayer. And this was what he said, actually. Now, I, I, that I, The words he said to me was, I want you to pray the prayer of consecration. The prayer of consecration. Now, we're going to study that later in the evening today, uh, but we're going to practice it now. He said, I want you to pray the prayer of consecration. And that's the prayer that unlocks the will of God. When you pray the prayer of consecration, the prayer goes this way. It says, Lord, not my will, but yours be done. In any area of your life where the will of God is not specified, for instance, marriage, there is no scripture that says, Noel will marry Buki, right? So, but there is a will, there is a plan of God for me in that area. It's not specified. I know God wants me to marry. I don't know who. All right. So it's not specified. So in such a scenario, you ask, you pray for God's will to be done. It's a powerful prayer because what it does is that it, it, it eliminates every other outcome and leaves only one outcome. The will of God being done. Can you see that? And so we're going to pray that prayer. Then we're going to watch this. That's, so that's one kind of prayer. I, I told you that in, in trying to arrive at an outcome, I told you yesterday night, you, you, engage, you can engage different kinds of prayer. And the wisdom to engage them is now what you're learning by learning the different kinds of prayer. So having prayed that, we're now going to pray in the spirit, pray in tongues. So we pray the prayer of uh, 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 consecration. Then we pray in the spirit, pray in tongues. That's another kind of prayer. And then but why? Because when you're praying in the spirit, the spirit of God is praying specifically about that situation where you are concerned. So you see specificity comes in now. And then we are going to pray a prayer of casting of cares. Because God showed me that a lot of people are, are short, short, so short um, circuiting he's walking in their lives because of their um the cares they are carrying you know you, you can't be worrying about what god is walking on you have to choose one or the other either you let him walk on it or you take it on yourself so whatever cares you have not given him he can't walk on he has no legitimate authority on this earth, to walk on something that you are still worried about. I'll say it again. God has no legitimate authority to walk on something that you are still worried about because you are in authority on the earth. You have to give it to him. And so when we have prayed these two, we will pray the prayer of casting of cares. Roll every worry about marriage, about getting married over to God. You hand it over to him and you refuse to touch it with your thoughts except in praise and in thanksgiving. And then um, we're going to pray the prayer of thanksgiving. So you just begin to praise God and praise God and praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the next 20 minutes is going to be really interesting. And you're going to see, you see, sometimes, and we're going to do all this with fervency. We're going to pray in the spirit with fervency. So always pray with fervency. Always, all kinds of prayer. Pray them with fervency. Pray them in the spirit. Pray them with the power of the Holy Spirit. Pray with fervency. That's true. But you will see how miracles happen as you pray effectively. All right? Effectively. Glory be to God. Now, notice we didn't pray the prayer of faith. You see, because for relationship and marriage, you don't know who it is. Now, you can believe God for the marriage. But you can't believe God for a person. So you pray the prayer of consecration and you stay in that place until there's manifestation. Are you ready? I'm ready. Glory to God. I'm excited. Hallelujah. Oh, Parama has Just speak in tongues, everybody. Kile brokotozo. Geriaga du bregedo jekete. Keliana kakala bregedo. Go ahead. Bless him. Praise the Lord. He deserves all our, all the glory, all our praise, all honor, all worship. He deserves it. Oh, hallelujah. You are worthy of it all. <laughs> you are worthy of it all. For from you are all things. 
and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. You are worthy of it all. Mariba Koriaga tu Branande. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things. And to you are all things. You deserve the glory. Kerebo Sokora Dia. You are worthy of it all. Kilalamando lobo sheria balama. Ah, you are worthy of it all. Oh, hallelujah. For from you are all things. And to you are all things. You deserve the glory. Sing it again to him. You are worthy of it all. Marebo koso torabaya kerabaya. Oh, you are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. Karabahai. You are worthy of it all. I honor you, dear Jesus, sweet Holy Spirit. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. Hallelujah. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's truly worthy. He is. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Now, I want you to pray with me. Get ready now. Get set. You are about to unleash the hand and the power of God. There's another prayer I'm going to pray. The prayer of binding and losing. <laughs> the Spirit of God is moving. He's doing something right now. Wherever you are. Say with me, say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, concerning my marital destiny, in the name of Jesus, let your will be done. Not my will, but yours be done. In Jesus' name, from this moment, I disallow any and every manifestation of the will of the enemy concerning my marriage and the destiny you have for me regarding marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. I disallow it and I release and command the manifestation of your will regarding my marital destiny. In Jesus' mighty and precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead and speak in other tongues right now. Maripa kora de geskoda brate. Elo krone geshida bale kora na haketos yela brate. Lehe glen ombra gadia makora prakte jeri na haklezo. Evlen ongre dis materia nande gesuzo vrene. Melian Andre Gesuzo, keep praying in the spirit, keep praying in the spirit, keep praying in the spirit. Mila Kokla Endre Kleklo Brak de Jegediga Brahateza from one to another and then to another and to another, thirst around, handed over like a ball and a toy that children play with. But no longer, said the Lord, young lady. For you are arriving at the, the very entrance. You are arriving and you are going to knock. There's a door and you are knocking on that door and it will be the last door you have to walk through. Said the Spirit of God. I keleo makora bashari anande lebo kose telia baha. Lemo karubu robo shiria bakura masende legeria bakura masanta labaye. 
Makope, makope, makoro boso kotoria ba. I kandele bosheria ba la mandele keria ba. Mandele boko raba sandele brogodia. Maria gale kero bogoso koro bogosi karabaguse kere non galia katora bra. Revenon se kala brakto jina grade. El gozizia gala grato koro brogodus keteliana. Maluklen brogodus galde glianango duga vagadia. Hero ko prakete ze keldo grogedelia grabu gojeketa. Ma klian kon kompra gadige di agala brogo. Eko klian akato zuvre neke toboro boshiki akatande. E klen on gro di bageli agaga li krege go dozo go bagele ko seketa. A kayana ke ige le kreko dozo braga diga. Le kora braga ya ke le keto braga de ke le engre du ko vreni kataya galama. Le he koria braga toze gre diya. I will cause you to stand. 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 I will be the firm foundation under you. And you do not have to worry. And you do not have to fret. And you do not have to say, how will I be able to stand again? After all the times I fell. But here comes the word of the Lord to you. I will be your strength. I will be your strength, said the Lord. I will cause you to stand. And you will stand and many will see. For you are a story of my grace, said the Lord. You are a story of my grace. You are a story of my grace. And many will point to you and say that if she can stand, then I can stand. And you will be the source of hope and inspiration and joy to many, said the Lord. For the very thing the enemy has tried to use against you to cause you to fail and to falter so many times will be the very testimony that after all these times and after all these years and after all these failures, here she's standing. Here he is standing, said the Lord. He can, he create no hokosia, for I permitted it that I can bring you into your destiny. May he glare, zugo di, gagiro, bubori, geria non drege suzo, and I will keep manifesting my power. And I will keep manifesting my power. And I will keep manifesting my glory. And I will keep you standing, said the Lord. And I am able to keep you standing. And I will show that I am able to keep you standing. Glory to God. Pay no attention to the naysayers. Pay no attention to those who worry about you. For ake prodige sotalia, mahakera nande gesuzo. Walk away, be away, stand apart from those, mahikeliana, who mock you and those who worry about you. For the two, said the Lord, are of the enemy, one in sincerity, but the other not in sincerity. But all together of the enemy, said the Lord. For those who worry about you, belittle my capacity and ability. And those who mock you, belittle my ability and capacity. Stay away from them, said the Lord. For I am surrounding you with those who say, yes, you can. Yes, you are able because the Lord is your strength, said the Lord. Hallelujah. For in this season, I am bringing my strength. I am bringing my strength. Keep praying in the spirit, somebody. I'm bringing my strength to make up for weaknesses, to make up for weaknesses. Those areas where there is deficit, your deficits, mahakopradia, are about to experience my surplus. So do not worry, do not fret, do not say, how can it be with all of these regrets? For it shall all come to pass. Even as it was said and it was spoken. Yeah, you wrote it down. Yeah, you said so. Yeah, you noted it. And then you've wondered how come it has not come to pass. But now it is, said the Spirit. Now it is. Do not yield, do not yield, do not yield to the things that provide 
temporary satisfaction. Do not yield. Sakira broke to Zebra Oh, do not say to yourself, the Lord has tarried. The Lord has taken so much time. I will give myself over to temporary pleasure, temporary satisfactions with people and yield yourself and sell yourself cheap, said the Lord. Do not do this. Do not do this. For each time you had resisted, each time you had said no, each time that you turned away from that which would have satisfied cheaply and for a moment only, each time you turned away, your authority increased. Each time you turned away, I raised the level of your resistance and also the level of your authority. And the thing that is before you became bigger and better. And so go forward. Go forward, said the Lord. Go forward. Don't stay. Don't stop. Go forward for the things that you've been waiting for, praying for, are all in front of you, said the Lord. Don't look back. Look ahead and move forward, said the Lord. Oh, Mahaske, Maleko, Skulaba, Gegado, Goga, Gagara, Gagege, Gedudo, Bargadike, Soteria. Everybody join me right now. Mahipra Negedu Sofredi. And I'm going to be, we're going to be praying the prayer of casting of cares over relationship. But you see, God wants you to roll any and every care to Him. So you are going to pray the prayer of casting of cares about relationship, but then about every other thing that comes to your mind that you're worried about right now. And you're going to see God's miracle working power. All right, pray with me. Say, Heavenly Father, concerning who to marry, concerning when I'll be married, concerning my age, concerning the, 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 the fear and feeling that I may be missing out and I may have followed you in vain, I roll over every care regarding my marriage about its excellence, about its timing, I roll over the care to you. And I refuse from this moment to touch it with my thoughts, except in praise and in thanksgiving. I give you praise. I give you glory because you are working it out for me in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead right now in the name of Jesus. Speak in other tongues. And begin to bless him. Hallelujah. Begin to bless the Lord. There's this, from the beginning of this prayer, there's just been this spirit of praise that is, that, that's filling my heart. Hallelujah. So go ahead. Go ahead. Speak in tongues and bless the Lord. Praise him. Get into the mood of thanksgiving right now regarding your marriage or whatever else you rolled your care over to God about. Go ahead right now and praise God and bless him and worship him. Keep Nehiga, just stay in that place of, of worship and, and praise and thanksgiving. If you can dance, if you're in, in a, your room, dance. If you, can, if you can shout, shout. Go ahead and keep praising God as you speak in other tongues. Sikandolo poko setelia. Now I'm going to flow in the spirit. I'm just going to yield to the Holy Ghost. There are things rising up in my spirit uh, uh, to speak and to say. You keep speaking in tongues, glorifying God, thanking Him, thanking Him for what He has done. Exclusions will become inclusions. Where you have been excluded, pushed aside. <laughs> That thing that you have desired, that place you have desired to be included, but have been excluded. Now you have been included. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That place that you have been excluded, that you've wanted to be included, but you've been excluded. In the name of Jesus, before this year is over, you will be included. Ah, Married people, married men, married women. Pregnant women, pregnant <laughs> uh, 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 with twins, mother of twins, 
there are places things you've wanted to be included in that number but you've been excluded from that number in the name of jesus christ you are being included in the name of jesus christ you are being included in you are worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. You are worthy of it all. Kalima kurama kasete te 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 te. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. You are worthy of it all. Kaliya Mahasekere Nandegeladi. God is quenching fires, fires in homes. God is quenching fires in homes. In the name of Jesus Christ. That fire, sudden fire erupting, fire that has been built up over time. In the name of Jesus. Gali braka tozo boro moskeria nandege suto payage le brogo doba shataga le kekeliya makase. Inangoria bakase telegria nanda. It is quenched. In the name of Jesus, there is peace, there is calm, there is restoration of that cool calm of the Holy Spirit in your marriage. In the name of Jesus, everyone who has been called barren, everyone who has, who has not been with child and has desired in their marriage to have children, in the name of Jesus, I saw by the Spirit of God, the, the 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 leg of a of a little baby with with the, the sock the stockings that children always wear i see you in the name of jesus having to go shop for children's things i see you carrying your baby in the name of jesus christ mahike pronounde in an according to the time of life according to the time with women you will be pregnant you will Carry your baby in your arms in the name of Jesus. Even now, God is settling that pregnancy in the name of Jesus. God is settling you where that pregnancy is concerned. God is settling you with children. God is, God is loading you with children. And in the name of Jesus Christ, according to the time of life, beginning even now, you will carry your child. Glory be to God. Mandege boso cordia, el dogo zu praga diga la nondre ge sudo ba shakata, marege nondre, hele vreno shakatai, malege vrenon de gerdi, ere cora practe zegria nonde ge suso vrene. Give him praise, give him praise. You are worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things. And to you are all things. 
You deserve the glory. You are worthy of it all. Salalama Kurama Sandele Boko Shataya. You are worthy of it all. Kira Mosora by Yagelevregedosha. For from you are all things, and to you are all things, and you deserve the glory. <laughs> And someone you are, you, you are, there, there's a there's a trip right in front of you there's a traveling there's a change of location and that's that the delay in that trip and in that change of location has been the delay in marriage and god is god is wiping both in one one stroke of the hand thank you jesus glory to god oh, this poof, glory just like that <laughs> two things in one and the two are connected Glory be to God, because there's a I, there's a there's a flying over, there's a crossing over countries into destiny. Uh, it's either you are going to that person, that person is coming to you, but there's a I see nations being crossed over to bring two people together. Glory be to God in the name of Jesus. Oh hallelujah! Isn't he good? Isn't he good? Hasn't he done all he said he would? All that we are, all that we have, come from above. Isn't he good? Hallelujah. I honor you, Heavenly Father. Now lift your hands where you are. Every single person under the sound of my voice from today, your marital destiny is settled. If you're married, you have a right to a home of peace. If you're married, you have a right to a home of peace. Your marital destiny is settled in the name of Jesus. You will not be excluded from the number. You are from today included in that number. Your grief is gone. And the grievances are taken away. Even the ones against you. And there's a restoration of love. I'm talking to somebody. There's a restoration of love. And a uniting of hearts. And the, and the home is a place of peace again. In the name of of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we pray. And everyone said, Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You see, in this prayer time, look at all the prayers we've used. We prayed the prayer of consecration. Lord, let your will be done. Then we prayed the prayer of binding and losing. Did you notice when we did that? So when we were saying we disallow any, we disallow the manifestation of the will of the enemy regarding marriage. That was a prayer of authority. You see why I said it's not, it, a lot of times these things come together. We teach them separately so that you understand the laws and principles that govern them, but you do not. But in itself, um, when in use, in usage, they come together. Oftentimes, different things. Um, you can pray the prayer of faith and then cast your cares and never go back. You can pray the prayer of of uh, pray pray the prayer of consecration and then cast your cares. 
which is what you should do about marriage. Pray the prayer of consecration and cast There is no woman or man that will consecrate themselves, that God's will be done, instead of their own will, where marriage is concerned, and then refuse to worry about it continuously. Continuously. Every time it comes to their, to their mind, they cast their cares. Every time it comes to their mind, they cast their cares. There's no woman that will do that for a year, two years at the most, that that aspect of their lives will not have been fixed. The problem is that women, oftentimes, most ladies that I have had to deal with, they go, there's this up and down. They have moments of faith, moments when they are, you know, oh, uh, uh, um, in that state of cast my cares, God's will is being done, end of story. And then they go into this state of despair when they see their one friend gets married. And Satan arranges it very well, where one friend is getting married and sends them an invite and all of that. And they go into the state of despair. And it doesn't mean that you have ruined the whole thing. We need to come out of that place quickly. But sometimes you find out that they stay there for another one month, two months, three months, four months, five months, six months. They are no longer, you know, taking that stand of faith. And then they hear a message and then they get back into the place of faith. Stay there for a month and then they sink back down. And you can't continue. The Bible says, let not such a man think he can receive anything from the Lord. The guy who keeps going this way is like the, wave, the, 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 the wavering of the sea. James said, let not such a man think he can receive anything from the Lord. All right. He didn't say let not such a man think God will give. He said let not such a man think he can receive. All right. God will always give. God doesn't give because of your faith. He gives because of his love. He's a father. The father gives. But we receive because of faith. Faith comes in our receiving, not in God giving. For God so loved that he gave. God gives because he loves. We receive by faith. We take by faith. You know. So you just need to stay in that place. The same thing happens to people... Ladies trusting God for pregnancy. They, they allow the, the monthly cycle to be a, a faith cycle. So um, two weeks after their last cycle, um, three weeks, they believe that they are, you know, that the pregnancy has happened. And then when they see their cycle, it has not happened. Then they, 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 two, you know, they are down for the next two weeks. And then after two weeks, they are back again. Maybe it has happened. Okay, it has happened. In Jesus' name, it has happened. It has happened. And then they see their, their cycle again, and then they go back down. You see, God is not operating on that cycle. God gave you his word. And you see your cycle. You don't see your cycle. You praise God. You thank God. And someone says, but personal is not easy. That's why it's a fight. You see, a lot of times we'll be made to think that the fight is a fight of aggression or a fight of... Um, a prayer. No, the fight is a fight of faith. The real fight is that 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 thing you just said now. It's not easy. You see that not easy, and yet you did it. That's the fight. It's not easy. <laughs> I'm telling you, faith is not easy. Faith is going against. Bible says Abraham considered not his body now dead. I, do you understand that? He considered not his body now dead. Neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb, but was strong in faith. That's the fight. The fight is you are looking at a dead body, practically dead because an old man, and the wife, practically dead body, an old woman, yet he was strong in faith. So you look at this a cycle that, that has been happening every month, every month, every month, and yet you are strong in faith. I have a word of God, I believe. Giving God the glory. And you keep praising. And you keep praising. You see your cycle, you keep praising. I'm telling you, you can't stay there without having children. It's not possible. Hallelujah. All right, let's, let's, we've been talking about, um, uh, 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 the DAP principle, discover, accept, package, and present. And today, I want to wrap it up. We we'll talked about discovering, accepting, packaging. I want to wrap it up with presenting. After all is said and done, everything we've said so far, discover, accept who you are, discover your spouse, accept your spouse. Um, for married people, it's actually both. If you really look at it carefully, if for married people, you are discovering yourself and accepting yourself. You continue to discover and accept yourself. 
you know, because I kept stressing for my people about discovering your spouse because that's the one you have not yet done at all. And that's why I'm stressing that. But it doesn't mean that you don't discover and accept yourself. No, you keep on discovering because as you, even as a married person, you keep, in fact, you keep, real, you now start understanding yourself better. You start understanding yourself better um, because now you have someone in your life whose actions is, is, is now causing you to see yourself in a better light. All right. When you get married, you will get to know yourself even better. So this, you still discover yourself and you still accept yourself. Married people, but you discover and accept your spouse. That's a major task for you. And then packaging. You package yourself, but you also help package your spouse. In other words, those things you like seeing. You know, so some people like a lady dressed in a particular way. Every time you see someone, uh, a lady that, 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 um, that uh, 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 here's the word that gets your attention. Let me put it that way. You know, you come home, be free with your spouse. And, you know, you as also as a spouse understand that your packaging is for your spouse. Your packaging is for your spouse. Your packaging for that spouse, right? So when your spouse comes home and says, oh, you know, I, I, you know, would you, you know, I got you this dress or I like, you know, People um, wearing mini skirts in the house. Don't go, oh, no, I'm not a mini skirt kind of person. What kind of rubbish is that? Or oh, your, your lady says, I like, I like guys in, in singlets and, and um, uh, um, in T-shirts. And don't go, no, I'm not a T-shirt person. You know? No, you are now for this person. You were given as a gift. Do you understand that? You are given as a gift to the person. A lot of them, I, I don't think people understand that marriage is not a reward. You know, I had a, a lady, the wife of a, a good friend of mine, make that statement. So marriage is not a reward, it's an assignment. And watch this. But it's also a reward. So I'm going to explain that. Marriage is an assignment and a reward. I am given as a gift to my wife. So... If you give me a laptop, the laptop did not get a is not a did not get a reward. I got a reward. The laptop is now going to, it's on an assignment. The laptop has been sent on an assignment to me. I got the reward. I got the gift. The laptop. That laptop did not get a gift. That laptop is an assignment. But then in marriage, I am also receiving. I am also a gift. So my spouse, my wife, got a gift when I, when I came into her life. So I am on an assignment to minister to her, to make her happy. That's what gifts do. Oh, oh, to make her happy, to make her happy. But then I am also a recipient of a gift. She's a gift to me. And then she's like, make me happy, make me happy. To her, that's an assignment. So when two people get into marriage and realize that they are on an assignment, to make each other happy, that they are gifts to each other, then it becomes amazing, you know. So, so the, 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 your 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 husband likes miniskirts, boy, you go buy you some crazy miniskirts. Your husband likes, your wife likes t-shirts, you go get you some crazy t-shirts. You know, you are a gift to each other. All right, so you package, package each other, package yourself for each other, right? Package for that person. Then we talked about, so today we are looking at presenting. Now, in the past teachings, I, I focused on the on married. Um, that's why I spent a little bit of time right now to deal with the married, you know. So the last one is presenting. For the married people, let me quickly say what presenting is for you. Presenting is that you must find time to present yourselves to each other. Find time. I don't care if it is one hour a day, if it is one day a week, find time in every day where you present yourself to each other. Then you find time once in a week where you do some extended presenting. Find time in a month. Find time in a year. I always encourage this. Um, if, if a marriage, now it's not, I'm not, there's no perfection, right? Even myself, my wife, we've not always kept this so you will have times you didn't do it sometimes you went down and then you get back to it but just know the ideal 
so that you can always head towards the ideal. The ideal is where you spend maybe an hour a day that between the two of you, just the two of you, put the kids to bed and you just focus on each other, an hour a day. A day, a week. When we first started, my wife and I was Mondays, which was my rest day, and we would just go out. It's been a lot difficult to do um, with me not being in, in uh, both of us not being in the same space uh, most of the time. But that's the ideal, and you head towards that. A day, a week, where it's just the two of you. And then in a month, you know, or a year, you, t you go on a vacation, you know, together, at least once a year. Glory be to God. You know, these are not hard and fast rules, so you can always adapt them to yourselves. But the idea is present yourselves to each other. All right. So let me now talk to those of you who um, are not married. All right. So you discover yourself, accept yourself, package yourself and present yourself. Let's look at the word of God. Um, in, the, in the book of Ruth that we read yesterday um, from chapter three, from verse three. Now do as I tell you. Naomi was telling Ruth, take a bath and put on perfume and dress in your nicest clothes, that's packaging, then go to the threshing floor, go to the threshing floor. I'm going to just stop there. If you read on, um, you know, she was supposed to go eventually um, present herself and, and get seen, get noticed. So she was going to go to the threshing floor, first of all, hide from Boaz, then eventually get seen by Boaz. And, and, and while I'm not, I'm not saying, oh, you know, um, you know, in her own case, Boaz was the person for her, but you don't know who the person is. So don't present yourself just to one man, but present. There needs to be a going. That's what I want to bring out from there. There needs to be a going to the threshing floor. There needs to be a going to the place where you can be seen. Um, look at, to show you that this is not a, a, Something that just happened by chance. When God made man and the woman in Genesis chapter 2, in verse 18, the, then the Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. Genesis 2 18. I will make a helper who is just right for him. So the Lord God formed from the ground all the wild animals and all the birds of the sky. He brought them to the man and he didn't. So in verse 21, so the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. While the man slept, the Lord took out one of the man's ribs and closed up the opening. And the Lord made a woman from the rib and he brought her to the man. At last, the man exclaimed, this is one bone of my bone. This one is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. Now look at what he said. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib and he brought her to the man. And I'm wondering who God is trying to bring you to. And you have said to yourself, well, I'm just a, I'm a quiet person. I don't go out. I don't talk to people. Now, watch this. I'm going to bring a balance to this. Because I'm talking to different kinds of people. There are some who are extroverted. And I'm extroverted. And some people feel like, oh, because you're extroverted, you find it easy to go out to talk to people. You don't understand how it is with me. And so I, I did pray about that. And you see, there are certain things that are principles and certain things that are personalities. When, whenever something is a principle, it runs across all kinds of personalities. For instance, faith. For, for instance, confessing the word. The difference will, will be how each personality will now do it. If something is a principle, you have to do it. But the difference is how each personality will do it. So while, um, let, let's take confession of faith. When you, are, when you talk about confessing the word, the, the extroverted person will be loud and, you know, it will, you, will, <laughs> you will find him confessing the word. But even in the confessing the word, you will know this person is, is, is extroverted. The introverted person cannot say, oh, I don't talk too much. So I'm not going to confess the word. No, it's a principle. So, but the difference will be that the introverted person will most likely confess the word introvertedly, you know, quietly. Um, thank you, Father. Because my needs are met, my bills are paid, I have abundance and not lack in the name of Jesus. So there will be that, that introverted way of doing it. So what I'm saying is that it is the way you do it that shows your personality. But the thing to do is a principle-based thing. 
presenting yourself is principle. And it's not just about presenting yourself to a particular individual, but presenting yourself in increasing the number of times you are noticed and seen. And today, there are so many ways to do that. Today, there are so many ways to do that. I recommend that you become part of various associations. There are people, they never go for uh, uh, um, resident associations in their, in their neighborhood. They never step out of the house. They don't, they don't go anywhere. They don't hang out with any person. They are locked up inside and they are saying, oh God, you know, like, like, the, like the guy or the girl is going to like pick it up in the spirit and say, oh, there's someone at number two. Fern Valley, Exit Road. Uh, 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 her name is Yemi C. Yemi C. Yemi C. Go for it. Go for it and meet her. No. No. Prayerfully. Prayerfully. Ask God for your avenues of expression or showing forth yourself. In church, join units. Be part of the small groups. Go for the fellowship outings. And you're not going there looking for a husband or looking for a wife. But you are going out. You are hanging out with people. Get Gather together some of your, uh, if you're a lady particularly, gather together some of your female friends. And go out regularly. Just go out, watch a movie together you know, and, and come back home together. So you are with your friends, all right, but you are out there. You know, what I'm saying now can be taken to negative extremes, but I believe that the Spirit of God is inside of you and he can confirm to you the things that you need to do. Another place where you can present yourself is in social media. Now, you have packaged yourself. You have accepted who you are. You are a believer. You are a Christian. Make that obvious on your social media. Post a lot. Post a lot on your on social media. Um, coming back from church, had fun at church. Someone says, oh, that's so vain. Are you kidding me? See, that's another problem. You see, vanity is not the posting. Vanity is what I am posting. Content is what should determine difference. If I'm a believer and I am introverted, then I, I am posting my own way. I'm a believer. So what I'm posting, you know, maybe about flowers, maybe about, you will, you will know that I'm a believer in the way I present it. Can you see that? So, listen, every person who, most, let me say this, most people who get married, met their spouse in at, either at work in church school a social gathering or in transition between these places so increase your when you go to work you understand you don't have to be an extrovert presentation should be done but it should be done as you are so i always say this way if you're an extrovert present yourself extrovertedly yeah loud and noisy if you're an introvert present yourself introvertedly <laughs> glory to god because you see your spouse is looking for that you that you is what your spouse is looking for so be be introverted but present yourself show up that's what, it, that's what it means. Show up there. Show up in those meetings. Show up on online. Show up in the uh, 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 online group meetings. Show up in the uh, 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 singles fellowship uh, uh, WhatsApp group online. Show up. Show up there. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Show up and be you. Don't show up there and become noisy if you're not a noisy person. Because 
Remember, the person God has ordained for you or the persons that can flow with you, the people that can flow with your person are looking for the quiet person. So show up there packaged as you and show up as you with your strengths out in front. Don't accept to do something there. So oh, we need someone to sing. And you say, I'm going to sing. If you can't sing, don't go there. Don't do that. All right. And the moment they need something that you do well, offer to do it. That's what I'm saying. Offer to do it. You see, the thing you do well, if you're an introvert, will be something introverted. Oh, we need someone to help us put together um, the, 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 uh, draw up what they call the, the, uh, the agenda for our party next week. And you are the kind of person, you don't talk too much, but you are good at drawing up all of this kind of, because you think deeply, you are able to analyze up, upcoming problems and solve them, then you do that. Then you immediately sign up. I mean, uh, what's the word? Volunteer. You know. But bottom line, increase. This is the key. The key instruction: increase the number of times that people encounter you, and don't make it only about guys. In fact, there's something wrong when a lady hangs out majorly with guys. I hear ladies say that most of my friends are guys. Stop. Stop that. You see. 20 plus years of doing this and teaching this, I find two sets of ladies who have a difficulty getting married. Ladies whose major, whose main friends, majority of their friends are guys, and ladies who have an attitude like always getting angry, uh, uh, I don't suffer, I don't take nonsense, I don't suffer fools, what rubbish is that? Ladies who have a sense of dominance, I, I, I can't take nothing, not independence, now there's a difference. But that, I can't take nonsense. What kind of rubbish is that? And you're always sounding that way. The Bible says, meek, the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit. I didn't say it. The Bible said so. And it did, wasn't talking to guys. I was talking, talking to ladies. That it's an ornament when you have a meek and quiet spirit. So, think of when you watch the movie. And, and, and these guys were at the bar. And they, they, this guy was at the bar, looked around, saw this lady. And they connected. Most of the time, that lady, who is she with? With other guys, no, no guy is going to look at a lady with other guys and say, "Oh, let me go." No, she's usually with other ladies, her lady friends. So don't, don't. When I say you know, present yourself. Don't go hanging out with guys presenting yourself. <laughs> okay, my my pastor said I should present myself to the guys. <laughs> you know that's not what I'm saying. No, but be out there. Sometimes you find out that is the brother of this your. This this lady that you met and the the cousin of the friend of this it's it's, all, it's a complicated thing you can't you can't handle that you can't deal with that so your own part is not complicated increase the number of interactions that you have with people increase it the number of times people encounter you increase it find ways to increase it prayerfully ask God for how to increase it. Do it online, do it uh, 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 on site, physically, as often as you can. And then cast your cares and keep trusting God, and it will come to pass. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I believe you learned something in this um, series of teachings. Remember, next week we're going to be praying intensely. Don't miss it in the mornings. This evening I'm going to round up the teaching on, on the different kinds of prayer. Don't miss that as well. Till I come your way again. Oh, yeah. yes, Father, I receive that. I understand. That. Now, listen, the Lord just spoke to me and said, receive an offering. We have been praying along a particular line. We have been teaching. We've been praying also generally. And usually on Fridays, the last day of our rise, we receive an offering. And the reason is because you have received the word. The word has been planted the word has been planted right inside of you. Now, you plant a seed. Let him that is taught the word communicate to him that teaches in all good things. Not, not just so that the, pers the, 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 the person that teaches will have resources or will, will be funded. God wants to take care of that person, but God can take care of that person without you. Why? It's deeper. It's because 
there are two kinds of seeds that are needed. There is the seed of the word and there is the seed of your resources. And when those two cycles are in place, miracles begin to happen, breakthroughs happen. When the seed of the word goes inside of you and the seed of your resources goes inside the word, it's a cycle. The word goes into you as a seed. Then you take your resources and you plant it into the word. That cycle is completed and the harvest begins to flow. Every single person listening to me, um, they're going to post the um, account details. If you are in Nigeria, there's an account, the Zenit account, that you can uh, sow your offerings towards online. If you are from outside Nigeria, there is um, a domiciliary account that you can use in all of these apps, World Remit and Co. You can send in and sow your seeds. But you take responsibility to make sure that your seed gets into that place. The same way that the word, the, the sowing of the word, um, we had to take responsibility to make sure you get it, all right? So I'm going to pray right now and speak over those seeds and everything we have believed for is going to be unleashed in that singular act. The cycle will be complete right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray as we give today that there will be the multiplication of harvest on our seed sowing and lord we we give in faith believing that we receive every word that has been declared this week in jesus name we thank you for this in jesus mighty and precious name we pray and everyone said amen amen so go ahead um follow those instructions go ahead and give your seeds and remember once again that we're praying next week um and we're spending an am some amazing time praying and you don't want to miss it you don't want to miss it glory to god so till i come your way again remember this evening remember that you are tremendously loved by god you are unconditionally loved by god and because of that love you will continue to experience his wisdom power and favor so keep living in the consciousness of that love remember to subscribe remember to share to your friends and let's take this whole thing to the next level I'll see you again.